Hello friends, thank you so much for checking out this review. Today I'm taking a look at the recently released New King James McLaren series by Thomas Nelson. It's a large print reference Bible in two column format and it's a verse by verse layout. This is basically an update of the preaching Bible that I reviewed uh, a few years ago. And it comes in this beautiful, beautiful box. I just love this box, just like I loved and still love the box of the Preaching Bible. As you can see, it's very, very similar. You have minor differences, but you can see this is pretty much the same thing. But now you have several formats available, including black goatskin leather. And that was something that a lot of people wanted. So they did it. They called it McLaren series. They actually have it not only in the New King James, but also in the King James, just like the Preaching Bible. You also had King James. But now you have not only a premium goatskin leather cover, but you have genuine leather and you have two leather softs, the brown and the black. You can see links in my description down below and even I'll post some links to other reviews as well. I just love the fact that there are so many awesome Bible reviewers out there. Now another difference from the Preaching Bible is that this one has raised hubs. All of the McLaren series, for what I could see, have raised hubs and that's awesome. So to give you a little bit of the specs, um, I just I just love this, that they put this verse, Psalm 119 verse 18, because I love this verse so much. I have it in many of my Bibles. In the first few pages of the Bible, I just write it because I think it's an awesome prayer. Before you open the Bible, you just say, open my eyes, Lord, that I may see wondrous things from your law. And you see here features include the 72,000 cross references, which is pretty amazing. Also the full set of translator notes. And it's a 10.5 font. It's exactly the same font you had in the preaching Bible, um, but they, they were advertising it when the preaching Bible came out as 11.5, but it's actually now uh, being presented as a 10.5, which is probably closer to reality. This one actually retails for $189.99. And of course, you can get it for under this price, I believe $150 on Amazon, maybe less than that on Christian Book. But the prices vary, it goes up and down. So make sure you make your research. I'll leave uh, some affiliate links down below. I've seen the Leather Softs on Amazon for 30 bucks. That's amazing. That's awesome for a Bible like this. The Genuine Leather, I believe on Amazon, it's uh, $75, something like that. Now the McLaren series is named after this uh, famous preacher, Alexander McLaren from the Victorian era, but it, this is really not a Bible with study notes or with comments by um, McLaren. So bear that in mind. When I heard of it the first time, I thought it was going to be a study Bible or it would have notes by McLaren, but no, it's really just the name they gave to this um, series or collection, just like they did also recently the Sovereign Collection. This is a new collection, even though it's a format and a layout that was already present in the Preaching Bible. So, um, out of the box, I could smell this amazing, amazing goat skin. Just, I love the smell. It reminded me of my, uh, recently I reviewed the Wide Margin, also by Thomas Nelson in the Premier Collection. And I have it here. I'm going to show you guys side by side so you can have uh, a look and see the little differences. Some people are a little bit OCD with the differences and the little minor differences in the goatskin um, and the grain. You can see this grain is uh, is really nice. Um, not very pronounced, but pronounced. And I think it's beautiful. Um, here in the Wide Margin Premier Collection, you can see that it's not as pronounced. I imagine that it varies. It really varies from copy to copy. So I'm just showing you my copies. This is the center column, um, verse by verse, um, reference Bible, also in the Premier Collection by Thomas Nelson. And you can see that here the goatskin looks more like 
the um, McLaren, but this one is a little bit more supple and the McLaren is a little bit, seems a little bit thicker to me, which I actually like and prefer. Okay, so that's that. I can also uh, compare it here to the brown goatskin of the New King James Thinline Premier. Just love this Bible. I love the cover that is thick and not very flexible. I just love this. And also, I can show you and compare it to the grain of the Thin Line Premier in blue goatskin. Another Bible that I'm in love with. It's just beautiful, awesome. So just to give you an idea of the grain, I think my camera is picking the image up really well. So, yeah. All right, so you have perimeter stitching, which is very well done and beautiful. You have, um, as I mentioned, the raised hubs. They add such a nice touch to the Bibles. The Premier Collection, these are beautiful Bibles, and the raised hubs are part of that beauty. You have Holy Bible in gold, and New King James Version, and Thomas Nelson in the spine, and you have gold gilding, as you can see, really well done. Um, it's red under gold, okay, and it's of course not a very deep or bright red, it's just a little touch of red. I really like the light reds when it's red under gold. If it's blue, it can be a little bit darker, but um, when it's red, I really prefer it this way. So really nice, and the gilding is really well done. has a black headband and a black tail band, if you can see it over there. And then it has these three um, ribbons, a black, a red one, and a blue one. And they are double satin ribbons, and they are really nice, okay? They, they have a diagonal cut, so the Preaching Bible did not have. It was straight, the cut, and the ribbons. These ribbons are of a higher quality than what you had in the Preaching Bible. I know, because I'm just looking at the Preaching Bible staring at me in the face. <laughs> I have it here in my office. Okay, proof, see? Right here. All right. So, um, you open it up and you have a leather liner. The Preaching Bible has a synthetic liner, but this is um, leather. And you have a gilt line, really nice. Okay, you have, it's edge lined, of course, really well done. It's, you can even feel like it's a little bit stiff. You probably, this will probably go away with time. And you open it up, you have this page glued here, oops, and you have NKJV McLaren Series Bible presented to by date occasion, and title page, the Holy Bible, already in this, I believe, 36 GSM paper, which I absolutely love because it's so easy to turn, so resistant to uh, marking pens, um, just a joy. I love the smell of this paper. I really do. <laughs> it's one of the first things I do is I start smelling the paper because I love the smell of the paper in the Premier Collection Bibles. So you have here the information page. Feel free to pause if you need to. Contents, the books of the Old Testament, the books of the New Testament, book abbreviations, special abbreviations, preface to the New King James Version, and this is not the abbreviated preface, this is the full preface that they uh, put out, which I really love. Uh, the Old Testament title page, and then Genesis. So exactly the same text block and layout as the Preaching Bible. And I just love this layout. You see that the book titles are in blue or I don't know if you can call this blue or teal or something like that. I just love this color. And the subheadings are also in blue. The chapter numbers, the verse numbers, which I really love. They really stand out and this amazing font. It's hard to compete with this. It's bold, it's very readable, the design is awesome, it's a comfort print. Um, you see how it has a lot of space between the lines. I had a wonderful time reading out of the Preaching Bible, and this is just exactly the same. I love it. You have the cross-references and translation notes centered in the bottom. 
you have the page numbers in the upper part of the page uh, in the center. So again, two column, just love it. Uh, my main critique of this Bible, just as for the preaching Bible, is that I would like to see a little bit more gutter space and a little bit more margin space. That is basically my only complaint about these Bibles. All the rest, I love it. I'm a fan. It's black letter, which is awesome. I, I you know, I just, I love uh, red letter Bibles, but the fact that I have a black letter that I can underline with red in the words of Jesus, I just love that. Also, it is a Bible that, um, as you can see, in the poetic sections, you have a poetic format, and there you do have space for your notes and stuff like that. Um, it's just beautiful. I just, I love reading the Psalms in this layout. It's awesome. Really, really good. No complaints there. I mean, just amazing. If you love a good verse-by-verse -verse layout, man, if you don't need a lot of space to write, um, because this really doesn't give you that, this is the Bible for you. Um, if you're a pastor and you don't really use um, the margins of your Bible, you don't care about that, this may be your thing because with this cover, with this format, with this paper, with this printing, this Bible will last you a lifetime. Uh, contrary to the preaching Bible, this Bible has maps, which the preaching Bible did not have. Here's a note regarding the type. Um, this one has the maps, the standard maps that you get in the Thomas Nelson Bibles and the Premier Collection also has these maps. I love the color of the maps. I love the maps themselves. Um, I love the fact that the paper is not too shiny. Um, you can see here the stitching. Um, you can see it here and it's also in the beginning in Genesis chapter 2 you can see the overcast stitching here, which offers more stability to the text block and resistance durability. So really, really nice. Um, I don't know what else to say about this Bible. I think it's an amazing Bible. It doesn't have a concordance. Um, does have some does have some lined paper. You get eight pages of lined paper, so you can write a little bit. And then just a, a blank page here, and then the note regarding the type, and then the maps, and that's about it. Um, beautiful, beautiful Bible. To give you an idea of the size, I can uh, compare it here to the wide margin. Just put one on top of the other. The McLaren, as you can see, is similar in the height, but of course the wide margin is wider because it's a wide margin. <laughs> and here in terms of thickness, they're comparable with wide, uh, maybe the McLaren is just a tad bit thicker. I don't know, they're very, very similar. Here, if you compare it to a thin line premier, then the thin line, you can see it's way thinner, but the, the footprint, it's almost the same. It's almost identical. But of course, the McLaren is thicker. This, this one, as you can see, the, the font is thinner. It's not a verse-by-verse -verse layout. It does have a little bit, tiny little bit more margin. So, yeah. And uh, let me see here. Well, this is the preaching Bible here. As you can see, the size is very, very uh, similar, even though the McLaren has a little bit more of a yap. It's not a very generous yap, but it's a little bit more than you had for the preaching Bible. The gilting is better, of course, in this uh, particular copy, which is uh, the premium goatskin. And yeah, all the rest, they're pretty much the same thing, as you can see. Exactly the same text, same layout, but of course this one um, is a more of a premium Bible than this one because this one is the black goat skin, has the 
Art Guild has a bigger yap, has the red under gold, um, all those details. And remember, all of the McLaren series will have maps and a little bit of lined paper when the Preaching Bible has no maps, okay? Just a little bit of lined paper. I actually, I actually tested out a pen here um, in this lined paper. I can tell you this paper is amazing. If you did not watch my review of the New King James Wide Margin Premiere, go back and look at that. I test this paper and I can tell you this is amazing. Very, very good resistant paper. So easy to turn. I just love it. Now an idea for our friends at uh, Thomas Nelson. First of all, thank you so much for sending in this Bible in exchange for an honest review. Um, an idea would be to have uh, something like this without the cross-references. I know a lot of people love the cross-references, especially when you have 72,000 cross-references. I love them, really do. But there's also a lot of um, pastors and not even, not only pastors, but people who interact with the Bible on a daily basis that actually get their cross-references online or stuff like that. So an idea would be to have something like this with this uh, size of font, this boldness of font, a verse by verse please, <laughs> um, without cross-references, just with the translator notes, and to make it with a little bit more sp margin space and a little bit more gutter space. Just an idea maybe for a series that you will one day create, not called McLaren, but maybe called Govea series. Who knows? <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Well, love you all, guys. Thank you so much for watching this review. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Awesome, amazing Bible. Really love it. And yeah, I think that's about it. And remember, Jesus loves you. Whatever Bible you read, read it with faith, read it with love, with prayer. Remember that Jesus was crucified for you and that he was crucified for me.